Still feel kind of weird about this one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's me, the comic book frog, and I'm here once again with my friends. Not and friends, my friends. I got to be, I totally leave this for reading. I got Zach. Hi, I, I I I don't know what to say here. I'm normally the last one, not the second one. I'm I'm out of place. I feel weird. Move past me already. <laughs> we tried you, but you interrupt. <laughs> All right. Uh we also have Eric Breen, who will be our Thor tonight. Uh oh. Uh oh. The guest of honor. You oh, kicked no. him. I did not kick him. Um, but I guess that was YouTube censoring him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, um, I can stall for a little bit. Um, uh, so Zach is going to be playing the Human Torch, and uh, and uh, and one of one of the the Nazis or Radzies, which do you prefer? Radzies, uh, Radzies, yes. Eric Brain will be Thor and Union Jack tonight. Uh, Maran Maranya. Yes, yes. Uh, Marani is going to be playing Spitfire. Yes. And her tree will play the tree. And I'm also narrator. Yes, the narrator. Or narrator. Narrator. Yes. Naruto? Namortor. Namortor. And also with us is Captain Strangewife. Or Capitan. Sorry. Capitan. Yeah. Capitan, yes. How are you doing, you Schweinhunds? Oh, he's, he's, he's getting in character for sure. Yes, yes, tonight he will be playing the Fuhrer himself. He's got the hat, but not the wrong logo. Well, I guess the wrong logo to say. But uh, with further ado, we'll be reading the Invaders number issue 32 from Marvel. And I guess let's just jump right into it. Yes, yes. All right. The German word for two soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So it never happens when the puppet's here. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so, let me go back. Yeah, I definitely have to increase the screen on that one. Here we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. Marvel Comics Group, the greatest superheroes of World War II. The Invaders. Uh, you, you, well, I can't even read it. Yeah, can we zoom in? Maybe? A bit. I'll, I'll try to, but I think it's just going to take me to the next page. I, it says, is it, oh, oh, man, I can't even read that. Oh, one second. Our panel's on. All right. Holy crap. Yeah, it won't even let me zoom in on this. But I can just read it real quickly. Okay. <laughs> I can't read it at all. It's just because it's because the cover. So the cover is a little small, but the but the, the print later on will be big, bigger for you to read. Yeah. And me. <clears throat> in my, my professional Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. Oh no. You are a little late, invaders. Now you must face the wrath of the the Third Reich's ultimate warrior, Thor, God of Thunder. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, please. Captain America and Bucky, the, the submarinero sauce, the, the original useless human torch, and Toro. <laughs> During the darkest hours of World War II, these five heroes, three, four, it's five, okay, Five heroes have banded together as the invaders to battle the Axis powers to the death in the name of freedom. Freedom. Not Trusty Sidekick Presents. The Invaders. We've got Roy Thomas writing it. We're the editor. Alan Cumberbird, Frank Springer Illustrator, Storytellers. J. Rose Letterer. C. Gafford Colorist. And Jim Shooter, the man, Consulting Editor. Joe Rosen is just on everything. I noticed that. Jay Rosen is, is more mo the modern uh, Sam, what you call it? He's the modern one. Okay. Only days ago, Cap Namore 
and the Torch returned from the United States just in time to join Spitfire and her brother Union Jack against the flying death machine of the Teutonic Knight. Oh, boy. Wouldn't you think they'd earn a rest just this once? Crash, blam! Let's see what's on the other side. What in blazes? The Achilles tanks! All three of them! All three J's! Oh, no. No, that's the Achilles J's! These what are the Achilles tanks! Ah, well, they have shattered the wall of the depot. And that's, and then my brother. And the they're headed people. straight for us. I knew I'd find a use for this voice again. I miss that voice, man. <laughs> okay, now we got no more, eh? <clears throat> General, this is some sort of surprise test. Well, Prince Namor, for a great low rate, you can get online, go to the general and save some time. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, jolly well do, General. It's diabolical sabotage. Ah, that's sabotage. Sabotage. Thunder in the East. Dun, dun, dun. Sounds like an 80s movie. Yeah, it does. It really does. Okay, here we go. Now, here we go. You're right, Jack. Still, it seems impossible. Smack dab in the middle of Erica's newest British base. Impossible or not, Captain. Here they come. Oh man, flame on! I get to use the same lines, even though I'm a different torch. Yeah. Just as useless. Yeah, good. Yeah. good torch. Here's a treat. Yeah. A Scooby snack. We both can attack the tanks from above before. Nemo, take me aloft. Will you? Is drop me on one of them. Sure, jump on my back like Ace and Gary. It's a simple enough request. Wait a minute. Isn't that the ambiguously gay duo? Yes, yes. They're happy. I keep current. There! <laughs> now you are on your own, as Americans would say. Royto and... Ah! <laughs> That's one for him, Fishman, and one for you. And one for the human torch that lives down the lane. Huh. That should make it hot enough for the Nazis who are trying to make off with the Allies' new jointly developed super tank. Oh, okay. Is he not an android? He is an android. Yeah. The, but he's, how he's the human. devil... But He's how the devil, <laughs> not in my thought bubbles, <laughs> how the devil did they get hold of them in the first place? Thank you and, very much, man. Mr. Roberto. Tomorale pacto. And as his fire bursts rain down with fearsome intensity upon the armored machine below, da, da, da. just call it a tank. Yeah, they're being verbose, A suddenly profusely perspiring Saboteur inside is beginning to wonder the same thing. He sees it all again as the temperature rises, second by suffocating second. Uh -oh. dun, dun, dun. Yeah, please. Larger. Ah, the daring U boat, which that's a U boat. That's not on my boat, it's U boat. Which, against all odds, managed somehow to slip through all the minefields around this top secret new base, of whom of whose existence few this is few even knew. That's a U-boat. And the British born spy, who definitely earned his rights marks by selling information of the best way to approach and dispose of the sentries. Wow. Ah, the first step back was the starting startling sight of the five costume invaders. Freshly arrived and dangerous with their known superpowers. Yet, nothing could be allowed to prevent either the theft or ultimate <clears throat> destruction 
of the three new Achilles tank prototypes. One which was earmarked for the hated Russians, the Ruskies. Uh, nothing prevented their reaching the super tanks, but success or even survival seems now another matter entirely. Those shells can't hurt me through my flames, but one of them might accidentally hit the barracks beyond and kill a bunch of groggy dog faces. Kaboom! Must keep hurling fireballs and hope they hit the shells before... Ah, got that one. Even though it's moving too fast for me to see it. That tank is a sitting duck for me, but I only want to stop it, not destroy it. The Allies need tanks like these, and these are the only three J's, I mean models. Uh-huh. The rampaging submarinarinara sauce, however, is less particular. Here's Johnny! Yes. Achilles tanks, ha! These have nothing in common with the part of the of the invulnerable warrior. Richard uh, Donna went to Rip and Shrek. Shrek is in this book, in this comic book, apparently. <laughs> Except perhaps this, you know, I guess we don't need those tanks after all, Torch. Oh, some marinara is a little. Um, Impulsive. Yeah. Namori, Imperious Rex! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Namori's aim, if not necessarily his judgment, is impeccable. See, there you go. Perhaps because he alone, of all the invaders, knows the sea well enough to detect the slightest unusual aspect of its surface. Gretsch! Kunchpa! Those are good, by the way. And even a motionless submarine the summary, not some mariner, has not escaped the nose of eyes which can function even in the darkest of, of ocean depths. That's very colorful, me. Yeah, that's very colorful, uh, dark uh, sea. And a uh, 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 colorful uh, summary, too. Hans, do you want to take any of these rolls? What's that? You want to take this? Yeah, Lima Gat! A holy split water is coming in. Why not the beer? Abandoned ship we lost. Or we are lost. Ah, abandoned ship they do, like the rats they are. Yet, in a sense, they are still lost. <laughs> this time to the Royal Navy. Da, 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 da. Cary Grant, if you will. Yes. The Submariner took the wind out of their sails, eh? Ice! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Oi, sir! I saved a few death charges as well, I dare say. You don't sound uh, British. Th thank you, Chief O'Hara. Hey. Okay, do 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 While... And holding back doing this <laughs> as long as I dare. <laughs> He's not Android. Another few seconds, however, and this tank will be rolling right over General Moore, so I've no choice. Chuck. This flare, woo, <laughs> in its ventilation aperture should do the job. Uh huh. It's a wheeling, dealing son of a gun. Charles. <laughs> And yes. <laughs> I am ready to monologue. Here we go. Especially when I've stuffed the shaft behind it. Oh my. Now, got to leap free. By all odds, the explosion will occur before I'm far enough away. But at least I'll have... Brian... It's Archibald. You are being needlessly foolhardy, Brian. If you told me what you planned, I'd have been standing ready to rush in and rescue you. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. 
What's wrong? You seem so sullen. Women's Lib, Marvel, 1940s. Why am I trying to cop a fear off my sister? Uh, no answer, eh, dear brother? Oh my gosh, she's like Scarlet Witch and, uh, what's his name? Ultimates. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just watch from back here while the human torch mel melts down the last tank, the slag. No! Wait! What? Who are you? Scooby-Doo? Yeah. Oh, no, it's General Moore! Amore! Yeah, eh, less is more. Thank heaven I... Oh, I'm not General Immortus. But thank heaven I, I stopped you in time, Torch. Whatever happens... This final remaining Achilles tank must not be destroyed. We've promised it to the Russians, and we've got to make good on our word. But, sir, the Russians are commie. I mean, there are saboteurs inside. Who? Why are you speaking in robot? I can hear you. Oh, sorry. Forgot about well, that. Try that again, son. But, sir, there are saboteurs inside. Who? Then smoke them out or starve them out. But this tank must be saved. <laughs> That's an order, invaders. I'll take a ham on ride. You sure this wasn't general? Lots of must, lots of must hold the ma'am. Well, what are you telling us for? You're making the sandwiches. I ain't making. Nothing to worry about, sir. She's definitely making the sandwiches. I am not. Our spy friend has collapsed from heat prostration. Oh, I mean prostration. Wait, oh, my my apologies, General, for having to destroy the... Apologies won't help the Russian front. No more. Oh, then what? Chicken butt. <laughs> this is our sole remaining Achilles tank. I think I already said that. And we have promised it to the Soviets. I know I already said that. I want you five to deliver it personally and in good working condition to <clears throat> Joseph Stalin. I said it's, it's cap. If that's the way you want it, sir, that's the way you're going to get it. Any way you want it. Oh. We won't let you down this time. Check out. That's America's ass. Yeah, it's China. <laughs> I hope. <clears throat> uh, soon afterward, Nate Namore's Atlantean flagship is streaking across the skies above the North Sea. North Sea? We needed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The final Ach Achilles tank fastened security to its hull. To its hull? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you so, so glum, Brian? Is it because I saved you from being blown up before? I tried to fight the feeling, Jacqueline, but I can't. Now that the others have returned from abroad, I'd kind of like abroad myself. <laughs> I'm reminded, because this isn't modern Marvel, I'm reminded that I'm by far the weak link in the invaders' chain. Now, that that's Bucky. <laughs> In fact, I might even be more useless than the torch. Oh, I doubt it, though. I lack your speed, torch's flame, name all strength and sea powers. <laughs> even Captain America. Do no doubt to differences in the original super soldier formula. <laughs> I'm sorry. See, all I'm good for is passing gas. <laughs> and the fighting edge. Not to mention his shield. Oh. Here we go. We're all trapped in this ship. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, he really touched on this. Oh, man. At last, I've learned what you Yanks mean when you speak of a fifth wheel. I fear you must save yourself any for later, Brian Falsworth, for I do not know how to drive or fly. Oh, Lord. Strap yourselves. Into your thermal chair units. Oh, my. He has seats. We are approaching the Arctic Circle. 
Ooh, that's why you get throw yeah, heat seats. Meanwhile, in Germany. Uh, hey, get, get, <laughs> it's like I read that. Meanwhile, in Berlin, in Berliner, a few hundred miles away in space, you know, universe distant in every way that matters, a former sign painter from Vienna is royally enjoying himself. There might be a girl singing. That's why my I'm voice not, is so I'm high. Not, I'm letting him do it. I'm letting him do it. I'm not touching that one. The mighty hero is coming home. I think these are just random people. That's random people, yeah. I'm Fia. <laughs> With the terrible news from the Russian front. Do you think we should be wasting our time thus? Here we go. Uh, uh, si silence here, General. You know I know you I know see only an opera taking place below a performance of Richard Wagner's Gotten Dam Along. Whereas I see my supreme insights. Behold very much more, you swine. That's the dusk of the gods, by the way. I see all the pagan pageantry, the barbaric splendor, which belonged to our noble Nordic ancestors before the spineless Christians and the hated Jews from them over to weaker ways. <coughs> horror, horror! They have all murdered by Siegfried! And, and, Roy. and Roy and and, and, the, and, and the, the and the tigers. Does that that's, me? That's yeah. yeah. Oh, now be quiet until the end, and I shall show you something that will astonish you. Uh, this is you. That's yeah, you. Yeah, my fear, uh, madman. Later. That's, that's, that's the first you. one is the bigger, the big one is Hitler. Yeah. Oh, that's me. That's yeah. you. You, you have often heard me say, Herr General, that well, that I felt Wagner wrote his divine music as echoes from another world, which he heard, and lesser men did not. See Hitler's table talks, RT. Yeah, my Führer. Though, of course, you spoke in metaphor. Nine, I always mean precisely what I say, except naturally when I am <coughs> disgusting, when I am disgusting treaties. Uh -huh. The world of which... Oh, the world of which Wagner wrote the word of Teutonic gods whom beauty is well cares is as real as our own. It truly exists when Wagner only knew of it till now. Uh -huh. Um if you only want to take if you only want to do Hitler, we can have other we can have Zach yeah, and uh, I can do it. but but surely, my Führer, with the Russian crisis, yeah, our troops are dying like flies fighting the Red Fanatics. Don't cops! Do you think any man or mother suffers as I do when I single soldier of the Reich perishes in that hated land of scorched earth? The Russian front will fall to us soon. Because what I shall do tonight. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Uh, yes, because what I shall do tonight. <laughs> Driver, I must reach the chancellery as fast as at a faster pace, or you shall find yourself outside Stalingrad before it falls to our army. Yeah, all my Ah, then, amid stony silence, Adolf Hitler muses of a time not so long past. 
of a strange entity called Brain Drain and of an alien from space who had been virtually turned into Donar, ancient Teutonic God of Thunder, Invaders 1 and 2, right. That, however, was fiction. This is fact. All right, this is Olsen, and that the, the guy down the right oh. is Hans. So I can take Olsen. Yeah, take uh, Olsen. Yeah. yeah. Right. We have come is ordered, my Fila, my sister Hans and I. Very good, but why is your underling's face bandaged? If he is something to hide? Only a few scars, my Fila. The result of a laboratory fire not long ago. Mm -hmm. What have you to report, Dr. Olsen? We have been working on the problem, my viewer, since you have brought us brought here from Norway City. Norway City? Norway! No. <laughs> Got you, Eric. <laughs> After City! <laughs> After you had learned of the incident with the false donor. And? If you'll come with me. This is some weird art, by the way. They all look like they have eggheads. <laughs> you know. Soon, in a large, heavily guarded chamber, few and all the right even know exists. This, my fear, is the result of years of research. A dimensional gateway, the only one of its kind, that allows us to glimpse that world which made us sense alone among mortal men. The world of Teutonic gods, who are, of course were also <coughs> gods of my ancestors, the Norsemen, under other names. That's you. A wunderbar and that Blind Ubermenschen battling an army of mishap and subhuman trolls. He is Akbrain Dona, the Teutonic god of thunder, known to my ancestors as Thor. <laughs> then my ideas have borne fruit. Maybe I am a fruit. You were. Uh, I can't read it. Can you make it a little bit bigger? Um, that's the biggest I can make can it. Can you can wow. you full can you full screen yourself? I can okay. try to. I'll talk, I'll, 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 I'll wait a minute. Then my ideas have borne fruit. You were. Uh, now I can't read it. If you if you full screen yours, uh, Hans, you should be able to. Oh read yeah, it. it's streamyard. If you click the full screen, the little square on the bottom. Yeah, you build it. It gets really good. In the bottom right corner. What's it? What do you want to hit there? Where the video is at the bottom right corner of the black screen, you should be able to click. It, it has like a little like, like a little box that says full screen. It's if you if you put the, it's like a square. I don't see nothing like that. Okay. It's the, it's the bottom bottom right. Can you do that by clicking the screen twice too? I guess, I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll double that. click double click on the comic panel. That'll full screen it, yeah. Oh, there. Okay, there you go. And my ideas have borne fruit. You were able to painstakingly analysis of Wagner's operas, especially the four of the ring cycles, to focus your viewing screen upon the true Escort. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, most important of all, can you bring Dona here? The twentieth century. I hope so, my dear. Hans has worked night and day on that aspect since joining me months ago. Hans, center the focal scanner on Dona and bring him here. That's that's how an advantage. I will do my best there, Doctor. Then, as the bandage assistant manipulates the machine's controls... I 
think this is Hitler. Uh, that's, that's Hitler. It. That's Mr. H. Yeah. Was that me? That's you. Yeah. Oh. I call you. I call to you, Thunder God, come forward in time. I ain't rather come into time, you who are beyond it, to preserve your people from the heathen hordes of the East. Okay, here we go. Next moment with a blinding flash of cascading light, the two-dimensional image on the television screen, asterisk, suddenly detaches itself and lives. My own sacred spear. <laughs> Yo, but Odin's fade. <laughs> what place is this? And who hath dared draw the thunder god here from the holy shit? He's going to get the cycle. From the midst of a battle against the foes of Asgard. First one since 1987. Speak, mortals, for such I see ye be. Speak, or face the wrath of Thor! Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's the Many experts feel that, if not for the twin barriers, the Great Depression, and perhaps the lack of business vision, workable commercial television would have been practical in the mid-1930s. The basic TV tube was perfected in 1875. Ryan Allen. Not heard of. I think this is. Yeah, this is Olsen. Yeah. Amazing. He's he's here. Until I beheld it with my own eyes, I would never believe that Hans mystic calculations were correct. Not only has Thor been drawn to the 20th century. But he is speaking modern Norwegian. Norwegian? Mine here, Doctor, it is German he speaks. Or else perhaps he speaks his own ancient pagan tongue when each of us hears it in his own language. No matter, he is here when the war is won. War? 20th century? What nonsense is this that ye speak? If this be one of Loki's vile trickeries, beware. It is no trick, Arthur. We have... Silence! Let me do the talking! Or I kill you. Eh? Despite thine unimposing stature, these others do obey thy words as if thou wert Odin himself. Who art thou? And for what final time? What place is this? I made all Hitler, Führer of the Third Reich, in a world that exists alongside your own. You have been brought here to serve a just cause. Serve? Didst thou say serve? What am I, Spitfire? <laughs> oh, crack! Short one cake. Yeah. Crack and whoosh! Thor doth serve no man or god save all Father Odin. He has an awesome fade, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thor is master of the storm and lord of the lightning. He, he, he smashed the transporter. Fool, that is of no importance. It will take days to fix it. Hear me, hear me, Thunder God. It was not my intention to insult you, but we are of one race, you and I, one people, to separate 
by time and space. And when all is explained to you, you will see the righteousness of our cause. Say on then, Thor is turned to hear. Yet know thee that if thou dost play false with me, it will go hard for thee. <laughs> That's what she said. I never lie, Donna Thor. But rather I speak, I would prefer to show you. Rather than speak, I would prefer to show you. For let this... For it is well known that one picture is worth a thousand mere words, at least to most men. Uh -huh. Assistant, lower the motion picture screen at once. It is done, man, Fuhrer. Motion picture? So many of thy words be strange to mine ears. Be this some sort of <laughs> magic? Not magic, Thor, but images that move. These took place recently in a land we call Russia, an evil nation which has declared war upon the descendants of those who once worshipped you of Asgard. So then, I am on Midgard, which I have visited in far earlier times. And yon images move like those conjured up by Odin himself upon his mystic orb. Look, I pray you, upon these scenes of death and destruction. Our noble armies are attempting to free the people of Russia from their evil masters. And behold, how we are rewarded, murdered, from ambush by weapons we call guns in the hands of foes whom some call reds. <laughs> Cincinnati, oh no! <laughs> reds, it has ever been a color of war, of danger, of death itself. Especially this season. They're in first place. Oh. For now, <laughs> they've won eleven in a row. Well, I yet, guess. and it will soon to be twelve. And yet, if your people be true heirs to the Northmen, the Vikings who sailed the seas, how can any stand against ye? They and their allies have enlisted the forces of darkness against us, Thunder God. And why would anyone want to stand against Kanye? <laughs> Dost thou mean those forces which would bring about Ragnarok, the day of doom, um, um, um? The same which we call Gotadamahum. <clears throat> I'm you glad were, you said that. If you were going to aid us in our fight, for instance, it may be that you will meet these five. Their very names betray them, for the fiends they are, the invaders, wielders of power on behalf of evil. Whatever powers they may possess, they shall be as naught besides Thor and his mystic hammer. Tell me what I may do to help this holy Reich that is thine. Oh my. Yes. For by Odin's fade, I shall not see it felled by lesser men. Come, I will show you. Amazing. For years I hoped, heard of Hitler's power of words. How he could convince men to do what no sane man would do. How he could drink and drink beer and never fall over. Now he's enlisted a god to help him in this curse war. And may my own god forgive me. To save my wretched life, I have helped him. 
side by side, son of Odin and son of Schnickel Gruber. <laughs> I'm reading it as it said. Stride from the chamber. They should have called him Schnickel Doodle. Nah, nah, Snicker Doodles are good. Schnickel Gruber's are not. Pausing only long enough for the Fiora, Fiora says he is the master. To gaze down in another room at a strange gleaming scepter within a case of bulletproof glass. It's dark secret, however, it must wait to be revealed another day. Oh, come on. It's the Wanda War II. Just kidding. Uh, meanwhile, the famous Atlantean flagship of Prince Namore streaks above the carnage, which is the Soviet Union in 1942. <coughs> I guess this is you, Jack. Good Lord, Yanks. I've read about the Russian scorched death policy, of course. How they will destroy buildings and supplies rather than let them fall into enemy hands. But there's no way the written words can have meaning until one actually sees it. Between the Soviets themselves and the Nazi army, it seems all Russia is aflame or devastated. Maybe, Brian, but we can turn the eastern part of the war around with the Achilles tank we're bringing. Perhaps, but it will take months, at the very least, for the tank to be mass-produced. Strange how our ideas change. Before this damned war broke out, we Westerners fear the communist Russians almost more than the Nazi Germans. I wonder how things will stand when the shooting ends. That was Zen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is now. Ah. Well, I'll just settle for ending it. Thank you very much, Brian. So shall we all, Torch. So shall we all. And perhaps one day we'll all be sorry that we did. I... Silence! I'm still waiting on my sandwich woman. You're not getting one today. We're at we're at sardines. Clarissus, you are just like Susan. Mm -hmm. I'm prettier. <laughs> yes, but, but Susan has an, a voice of an angel. Ah, I can hear it right now. It's so uh, lovely. Uh, that's, uh, save, save your speculations for the future. Invaders, look, there is a Nazi plane strafing us, Russian train. <laughs> well, don't just sit there, fish man, blast that plane out of the sky. I'm afraid, Torch, that my own hydro guns are subject to the same malfunction as those of the surface dwellers. <laughs> we have bad performances sometimes. In other words, they've not thought out from our flight through the below zero temperatures. Well, I could use my flame to defrost them or or else fly out and... That's Cap. Well, hold it there, Torch. If you don't mind, Union Jack and I would like to make this a joint Anglo-American effort. I also want the credit. Uh -huh. Well, be my guest, Cap. But hurry before that pilot goes back for a second pass. Ah, uh, moments later, as a submariner, -na 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 -na, steers his multi-element craft with perfect precision. And Cap's hands on Union Jack's butt. Yeah, it is. The, the like shield's that. covering it up. Glad you saw it my way, Brian. He did it his way. Oh, I see you're getting a head start on the way I'm written in 2022, Cap. After all, Captain, the Russians have been literally crying for the Yanks and British to open a second front. We can't do that right now in Europe till more of your lads arrive from America. Oh, 
Trash. Maybe not. But Stars and Stripes is still here in the spirit via my shield. Die, Nazi scum. <laughs> Live a <cut! laughs> Now, Jerry, suppose you just release the controls. It will just toss you out and take it down ourselves. Uh, despite the obvious language barrier, the enemy fighter pirate pilot gets the message loud and clear. Even though his name is Tom. Yeah. And seconds later, as the super strong Atlantean monarch gets into the act. Astonishing. Even given Prince Namor's great strength, how can those tiny wings on his feet enable him to fly? let alone support the weight of an aeroplane. It's bloody impossible. Well, you see, I've been reading up. Zoologists have said for years, as scientifically speaking, bees can't fly either. Only thing is, nobody's ever told those damn bees. <laughs> what in the blue hell are you going on about, Captain? <laughs> The bees, man! The bees! Cap's hit, been hitting the sauce. Yeah. Invaders! Sneak a peek at that figure coming out on the platform! Are my fire-flecked eyes deceiving me? Or is that really... Dun, dun, dun. Someone! Joseph Stalin! Joseph Ooh. Stalin! <laughs> Y'all are just... Dun, dun, dun itching to do that whole echo thing. <laughs> echo? Thing! No wonder that Jerry was strafing like mad. The Nazis must have learned Stalin shed... That must be Union Jack. That, that is. sounds very British. Yeah, that's... Also, I think he's saying strafing. But... Yeah. Jack? Union, Union. Uh, Union Jack? Retake. Oh, is this me? That's yeah, you. That's you. No wonder that Jerry was strafing like mad. The Nazis must have learned Stalin's schedule somehow and hoped to scope and hope to score a coup by killing him. Ah, uh, within moments the invaders have landed. And the Mori, who alone of them speaks a spattering of Russian. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Yar, it's the Russian. Is about to address the Soviet dictator. Da. Then suddenly. Premier, another German plane. It is coming this way. What Big Cosmo. Look at those crazy eyes. Cosmo is Russian. It works. <laughs> He's also blind, too. <laughs> so is Alicia. It never stopped her. Oh, no, Lord. it has not. <laughs> Lord, we best take the flagship aloft again before. No, wait, it's not a fighter plane or even a bomber. Someone's leaped from it. A parachutist? Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> it's really weird. These shots well. Whee! Somehow, Spitfire, I wish it were. That fella's got no parachute, but he seems to be controlling his fall somehow. Don't look now, but I got a feeling we're in for it. Stand ye back, villains. <laughs> the word hath come to slay the eastern tyrant and get a sandwich and none <laughs> shall say him nay. He who tries shall taste the might of the mystic Mjolnir and perish in the tasting. Oh, my. Oh, my. You slay, Thor. You slay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Thor? Or Thor! Many and varied may be the invader's personal feeling about the man who controls the destinies of 200 million Russians. 
yet they know that they must protect him from the powerful figure who claims to be a mythical thunder god, even at the peril of their lives. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, give me the, the last little bit. Okay, yeah. Okay, next, a battle of titans. Plus a shock ending which will alter the invaders lineup forever. Okay. And that's it for this reading. Yay! Yay! I hope you guys had fun. Hans, I hope you had fun too. It's always a yeah. pleasure having you here. Yeah, I sure do. Uh, I'm just trying to get used to it. Still takes a little few times yeah are you gonna be here for the next one uh i don't know uh, you don't have to if you don't want to it's no pressure hey it's what okay. happened to my uh my uh iphone camera, my camera. yeah oh, no. uh you might have hit the start camera you unplugged it oh no well, i do All right. oh dear i don't know what i did that's okay. We can still hear you loud and clear, and that's oh, yeah. the most important. As long as you get it fixed by Wednesday. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <clears throat> Wednesday came quick. I don't know if I can do another one. Well, I guess I could. Like I said, there's no pressure. The, the other three are here by contract. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the other? Th oh, that's the continuation of the... Yeah, we're doing yes. part, we're doing part two. Oh well, I'll I'll, I'll do that. All right, guys. So uh, for those of you who have stayed on with us, uh, thank you. Um, to those who we offended, well, it's history. Um, we do not. Obviously, yeah. we are we are pro. Uh, uh, I guess as far as Americans, British allies, but whatever. Gee, thanks for clarifying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do want to say the other one. But. I'm glad we put the disclaimer at the yeah. end of the stream. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what is this? The what is this? Like that page in the Invaders book? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was funny you see that because the next issue actually is the one that has a disclaimer. This one didn't. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. So if you want to help us out, then go to kofi.com slash puppetine, drop a dollar in the bin or more. Uh, that that makes you eligible to help out. Basically, is choosing our next reading. Or uh, a future reading or, or a future retrospective we do on the channel here. Also, uh, any money goes towards the channel basically helps out pay for the stream yard, uh, or uh, yes, for, for the stream yard, uh, which is a monthly fee. And it also plays for the Marvel in the reading app, um, the Marvel DC reading app. So thank you all for coming. And please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Take 